rend les choses faciles. Et c'est chez moi ces larmes de crocodile. So let's talk about this audio. Um, people have been freaking out for a couple of years now with phones removing headphone jacks, but I've pretty much just cleared the way of all that controversy, mostly because I think ever since I remember having semi-decent phones, which was around the HTC One M7 age, I got these, which are the Jaybird Blue Buds X, the original ones. And they were great! They did everything that you could ever want from a wireless pair of headphones. They sounded pretty good, they always stayed in my ears, and at the time I even remember getting some foam tips for the headphones, and that was just perfection. It was complete isolation of sound, it was great for using on the train and for walking out, it was great for me. Until the day I just lost them, which from what I remember it was just terrible. Um, I never lose stuff like this, ever, but one day I just, I couldn't find them and I was pretty sure I lost them. So after that I was just sad and frustrated for a little while and then I started to search for some replacements for it. And of course since I enjoyed the original Blue Buds X, I thought well let's get the Blue Buds X 3. They sounded pretty similar, the Bluetooth was faster to connect, they had more battery compared to my aging Blue Buds X, and they charged in a different way that was both good and bad. The good was the buds were smaller and the bad was that you need to carry around a tiny little thingy to charge it, instead of just plugging a micro USB cable on the side of the buds. So that was fine and dandy for, I don't know, two months, and then it, they just died and I got in contact with uh, Amazon and they completely refunded my purchase. So I was back again in the search for the perfect pair of wireless earbuds for both working out and just hanging around because mostly to listen to music, I use these. These are the HD6XX uh, from Sennheiser. They are basically the 650s, the HD650s from Sennheiser, but just cheaper and made available because of mass drop and they are probably my favorite piece of technology that I own because it just sounds incredible. They, they completely changed my perception of audio in general and they completely made me reconsider what I think is good quality audio. Even though in the past I've had decent headphones, but these are just a step above everything else. They're comfortable, they sound incredible and sometimes I just like to sit on my computer and just hang back and listen to music which is something very rare for people to do these days. But back on topic with the wireless earbuds. Um, so since I enjoyed uh, Jaybird so much, and even though the X3s died, I thought, well, let's try the Jaybird's run. And that was a mistake. They sounded about the same. They were plagued by this huge audio delay that was pretty apparent in anything that was real time, they were impossible to play games with because you pretty much just had like a second, maybe a second and a half of delay on anything and uh, YouTube never quite worked on iOS, on Android you, you can use apps to artificially delay the video on the phone which is pretty much just a workaround because the sound is always delayed and if you use the native iOS player that is used in Safari or many other apps, they artificially delay the sound as well for you to be able to uh, listen to the video and the sound synced. Who knew that that, that could be a problem? I, I didn't. And after two to three months, one of the buds just stopped charging and it was just rough to get it back connecting in the case. Uh, mostly because the gold contact pins on the inside of both earphones, um, they didn't stay very gold uh, just for using them in normal working out conditions in mostly summer uh, for two, three months. And the charging case pin was the same. So I got in contact with uh, the retailer that I purchased it from, which unfortunately was Amazon, and that got sent back again uh, for repair. and. Five months maybe later, they are still somewhere in China, even though I, I bought it from FNAC, uh, but the reseller through FNAC 
which I'll never do again because it, it was a clear mistake. Waiting for that thing to be fixed, I got back searching for a replacement pair for that. And around the same value, I found the Zolo Liberty Plus. They looked better in every single way, and I thought this would be it. This would be the end of my search for ultimate audio quality in wireless earbuds. But I was wrong. Yet again, they sound similar to the Jaybirds, both the X3s and the Runs, not better in any way, maybe slightly worse. Um, but what they gain is the Bluetooth 5 connectivity, which eliminates the audio delay. It's still there, but it's enough for it to be just left alone and just ignore it and you'll be fine. Um, the battery is great, the charging case is pretty good, but I have multiple problems with them after just maybe a month of, uh, of having them, uh, which is not good. Uh, so I uh, will be sending these back too. Uh, I still have them. I still have them here um, and they they work I guess but it's very fiddly because if I open the case uh, sometimes one headphone turns on sometimes two sometimes they are already on and depleting battery connected to the phone and just not doing anything I put them back in the case it's not 100% that they'll charge uh, I have them in my pocket and they just turn on and they source the audio from the phone, so sometimes I'm just wondering how, how I have no volume and then it's there. Um, sometimes I pick them out of the case and they have zero battery because they've been on for the past, I don't know, three to four hours playing nothing. Um, it's been a nightmare. Um, so all this to get to a point where I am seriously considering doing something that I thought it was pretty dumb. And I'm not proud of it. Um, I'm looking at the AirPods too. The Apple seems to have completely figured out the case thing and the charging thing, the connectivity thing. Um, they work on iOS and Android, which is a good thing because unlike the Apple Watch, which currently is pretty much the biggest thing keeping me uh, using an iPhone and not trying different Android phones. Well, I wasn't gonna be using the, the S10 Plus because I'm not really that big of a fan of Samsung's UI, but um, I haven't been looking at changing from the iPhone because I know that on Android, you don't have a good replacement for the Apple Watch. So the AirPods would work on Android, worse, but they would work. But the cons of it is they still have the same design issues that they had when they first got announced. They look a bit weird, but people say that they still use it and you see people on the street and you don't think they're like crazy. Uh, you just look at them and say, oh, well, they're AirPods. There he goes. Uh, and I think I'll be fine with people pointing the finger at me like this. I don't know, I don't care that much. But the problem with it is isolation to the outside. I really, really enjoyed open back headphones. They sound more natural, the sound, because in the real world, you don't see, don't, you don't hear sound like this. It's very closed off. It's really, really hard to make natural sounding audio with closed back headphones, with open back headphones, however. Uh, they sound really good. The cons are, well, they're apparent. If you're close to me and I'm just blasting music in these, you'd be able to pretty much just listen to it as good as I could on the inside of the headphones. So they're not good to be used outside or in a public environment. To listen in your room, they're perfect, but anywhere else, they're a problem. So the AirPods have the similar issue. Not only is your music gonna be listened to in the outside, uh, but you also will struggle to hear everything as good as you could if they closed off the ear canal. I've been looking into some mods and some stuff, but I haven't even purchased the AirPods and I'm already thinking about ways of fixing it and improving it, which is frustrating because Apple just, they just released AirPods 2 with Bluetooth 5 and a wireless case and charge 230 euros. It's a lot of money. This is a bit of a ranty video, I know. But I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated, you know? You would think that if you wanted to buy a pair of headphones for using outside and working out in 2019 and have them be completely wireless, you would think it would be a fairly easy task, but it isn't. I don't know, it's... 
There are other options, of course, there's the Sennheiser model that is completely wireless, but just looking at them, the size of them is probably gonna be really good for sound quality. They probably are going to be the best sounding ones, but two problems come up right away from there. One, they don't have any ear fins oh, because they're too big and my ears are not that big, so I don't think they're gonna fit really good. And they are 300 bucks. They're probably gonna sound great um, so, and then if you want to have like the Jabra Elites, um, they are very big, as you could probably see if you saw like the Verge review, comparing them to AirPods, they're very big, um, they don't look particularly great, but they're probably gonna sound good, and the connectivity is probably gonna be okay, but, um, the size, I do not think they're gonna be fitting me for my runs. Usually I run pretty much every day. I'm saying this and I don't run for three days, but I've ran, I don't know, the past 10 days prior to that, but who's counting, right? AirPods are a concern in terms of fit in my ears. I don't think they're gonna be fitting that great. I've seen some things where you can mod them and put like foamy, foamy coverage on the outside and probably that's gonna make them fit better. But if, when I buy the AirPods, which I'll probably do, and I'll probably, I don't know, share my experience, if they do not fit me, I'm stuck waiting another year with some mediocre alternative to use in my day-to-day -day life. Um, I don't know. Samsung Galaxy Buds, the design is, is okay. Um, they're not as big as the Jabra Elites or the Sennheiser. They're bigger than the Zolos for sure. All headphones, apart from the AirPods, worry me because every single one of them uses the contact pins on the inside of the headphone to charge and to connect to the case. Some cases have like magnets, so it's easier to place them incorrectly, and some of them just don't. And with AirPods, you just drop them in and they magically fit into place and start charging. And because the fact that the charging contact is on the bottom of the Q-tip thing that pops out of your ear, I do not think sweat is going to be a problem damaging contact pins on this uh, particular pair of headphones. Because every single other one that I've had uh, either being the Jaybird X3s with the control box thing just dangling around near my neck when I'm running. The uh, Jaybird Run, worst case scenario, there were like tiny holes with indentations in the plastic and inside of it gold contact pins, so it's pretty easy, even if you, if you keep them dry after you work out, it's pretty easy for them to accumulate some moisture there and just develop shit after... You, you see, I'm pissed off. Um, it's it's frustrating because uh, no matter how much I want to try to end this wireless saga, I don't seem to be able to find a solution. And uh, right now my solution is a month away if I buy the AirPods. And if not the AirPods, what do I do? I'm not sure. So thanks for watching, um, if you're still watching. Um, this was something different and um i don't know man i've been i've been filtering a lot of stuff that i wanted to share because i don't think uh the video would turn out that high quality as i imagine i should do i don't know work in progress i guess thanks for watching and uh subscribe if you are new around here and you want to see more of my face mostly and tech tech and my face uh that's what i have to offer uh, yeah, uh, bye. And this time I'm not gonna be fake covering the lens because it's 75 millimeter. So it will look pretty dumb me trying to cover it. With that said, let me try to cover it. Um, bye.